welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, today's video is inspired by a client call that I had recently with a lady whose chart I haven't yet seen. She doesn't want to see her chart because she is, I think she's quite, um, she's very, very much a thinker. She's up in the mind a lot. She knows that she overthinks. She knows she worries too much. She thinks a lot about the future. She kind of doesn't want to know the future, but she wants coaching for the now. And as I've been working with her, it's really interesting because the advice that I've given her that has helped her a lot has been for the kind of lady who would have very strong Mars energy. And in this episode, I'm going to share with you the the helpful coaching guidance I gave her. Um, but we are going to do a bit of astrology in this video as well, because I think I'm going to title this one something like women who are from Mars or advice for women who are from Mars or something along those lines. Now, what was the advice that I gave her that helped? She is currently dating someone and it's going okay but she finds that she messages him a lot she texts him a lot and he's not being very responsive he's um you know the, the flow of energies is not going very well basically that, that, that's that's what's happening there i said to her the advice that i gave to her was that she should experiment with two things. Can she receive and can she follow? And I said to her that you're very good at being in two different roles. I said you're very good at being in the leadership role and you are very good at, she's very good at being in the leadership role and she is very good at giving. That's where she feels really safe. But I said, can you be good at receiving and can you be good at following? And this was a whole new way of thinking for her. She's just like, what? And I said to her, I bet, I bet you're the kind of person who you just want to do, you want, you know, you want to do everything, you want to set up everything up, you want to organize everything. And she's in a very powerful um, career. She's in a very, very, very senior place in her company, very high up. She gets everything done. And I know that her mind thinks this way. I know that her mind thinks that I just, I can solve this, it's about what I do. And this is where it's not working in the relationship side of things because what she needs to do is she needs to think, how should I be? It's not about do, she needs to be more be. So what is that astrologically? And this is a blend, this is a blend of coaching video and astrology. So hopefully um, this is gonna go on the coaching playlist, but hey ho, I'm working this playlist out. It is growing slowly. So this is basically a video for women who are from Mars. Now I know there was that book which I have read. Um, let me Google search that book right now. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. I want the author's name, John Gray, that's it. We know John Gray and his book, which I have read, and I've listened to a lot of his lectures and all that kind of thing, and that's, that's great stuff in there. But it's really interesting because astrologically, we can see that some women so we should all be from Venus. <laughs> some, some women are more from Mars than they are from Venus. What do I mean by that? Okay, so astrologically, what do I look for? What do I see in a chart when I'm looking for a lady who's more from Venus? So we're going to have Rahu Ketu axis in Kendra positions. Okay, so we've got our chart and what I would be looking to see is Rahu, Ketu, Rahu. I swip them, swap them either way, flip them either way, whatever you like, no problem. Rahu, Ketu axis running here and here. We're going to have a female, if you've got any of this, who is more masculine in her approach. That's just going to be more natural to her. She's going to feel like... Um, I can solve this, I can do something, you know, I can, I can sort this out, right, by doing, 
not by being, not by allowing, not by waiting, not by none of that. She's going to be in there sorting it out. She's going to be doing something. What's another way we can see quite strong um, masculine energy in a female? So there's another thing that we can look for. I would say we're also looking at Aries and Scorpio. So we're looking for, say, for example, Rahu Ketu here or even Mars here in the first house and that should say eight, eighth house, Rahu Ketu, uh, Mars, anything like that. But maybe not so much. I mean, Mars, I was thinking about this just now. I mean, you could see Mars conjunct quite a few things. You can see Rahu or Ketu in either of these places. So we're looking here at Aries and we're looking here at Scorpio, whoops, Aries, Scorpio. So we're either looking at the signs Aries and Scorpio, we want to see a lot of activity in there, or we want to see a lot of activity in the first house or the eighth house. And if there's quite a lot of energy in the first house or quite a lot of energy in the eighth house, or quite a lot of energy in Aries, or quite a lot of energy in Scorpio, or you've got this kind of thing happening, Kendra, Rahu Ketu axis, you know that you're dealing with a lady who's got more Mars energy than Venus energy, and she is going to want to lead and run things and do things and give. That's gonna feel safer, right? But being receptive, and following in mean, letting the man lead and, and following that's going to feel foreign potentially that's going to feel out of the comfort zone it might feel difficult and when i was describing all of these energies and i was describing this whole thing to my client like a whole new world opened up to her when i was describing this thing about you know you could you could just receive or um you know someone else could organize everything for you or or you know and she was, she was like, she was suspended by that. She was kind of like, yeah, I'm, yeah. And I said to her, I said to her, or you, you know, you could just do everything, like forever kind of thing. And it was funny because her eyes did light up when I said that. But like, but equally, she's, there's a whole new Venusian world opening up to her. And it was really fascinating. So let's see, we're about the eight minute mark. I think I might start to wrap up. But I just wanted to share this with you to say that if you are a lady who's got more um, Mars energy, just be conscious of it. Don't feel like you can't plan or you can't do things. No, you can. And there are two coaches that I've worked with actually who do suggest that sometimes a lady is better equipped to take charge of the relationship and to organize things and to do things. And these two coaches are mentioned before Chuck Spezzano, um, in the heartbreak video, you can have a look at that. There's also Heidi Sawyer, brilliant um, mentor and coach and guide and just phenomenal person. She also believes that, well, you know, just, just be you, just, just get on and do it. So I think that's my main message as well to, to women who are more Mars-like, um, is to be yourself. It, it is to, you know, if, if, if if you need to plan and organize and do things, but equally um, experiment, explore, try another way, try, try learning about Venusian energy. And Venusian energy is about the be mode rather than the do mode. Um, Venusian energy is about receiving. Venusian energy is, is about follow, following, yeah, that can be, or um, magnetizing or being grounded, being in your place. and letting them come to you, all that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, astrology is just such an amazing system because even without seeing this client's chart, um, the advice that I gave her that really helped her comes from all my astrology training actually, and it is astrological in nature. Um, and you can, and I will do an episode about this probably on one of my astrology uh, playlist I will do something where we look at reverse engineering a person you can do that even without seeing a chart you can kind of figure out a few things um, and and help them 
So that could be a good one for, um, because I know some of you out there who are watching me, you are light workers, you are um, working with people, and, and many of, uh, there are even a couple of um, astrologers who, who do watch this as well. So that is a good topic as well, which I might just jot down somewhere. Reverse engineering, that's another one. I also am going to do um, a brilliant, a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant request, which was about the um, signs and, and, and things in astrology that have had a bad rap. That was such a great suggestion. I'm definitely working on that next. But I just thought I'd share this little bit of wisdom with you about Mars women, that yes, do plan, but be conscious. Um, do do as you need to. But equally, <clears throat> if, it, if it is that you w want to attract someone very masculine, you will need to be more feminine uh, in nature and do some of the more Venusian kind of things. But hopefully this provides some good discussion in the comments below. Feel free to share your thoughts. Uh, maybe I'll see you there and I'll type an answer back. But um, so lovely to connect again. And thank you so much for subscribing. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.